All right. All right. Welcome to the series where we're going to do the NBA. We're going to change it up. Change it on the tones. I'm going to do simulate it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simulate games. Let the computer do it. Maybe do like the last four minutes of the game. So you can watch, see what kind of game we have. We're going to do a a total reset of the draft, everything like that. And this is the order we have it in. It's going to be snake draft. So obviously having the first pick, it's great because you have one of the best players in the league. But then you have to wait about 36 more picks before you can get 30. Yeah, about, you know, you have to wait more than 36 picks. You have to wait a long time before you can truly get another pick. 14 rounds. These are the teams in order of their picks. The Warriors, the Heat, the Lakers, the Celtics, the Bulls, the Kings, the Spurs, the Sonics, um, the Hornets, the Clippers. And I did add new teams. I added uh, some expansion teams to fill all out the 36 teams. The Magic, the 76ers, the Pacers, the Pelicans, the Knicks, the Alaska Blizzard, uh, which will be a new team added to it. The San Diego Sharks. The Suns, the Nuggets, the Rockets, the Mavericks, the Outlaws of Las Vegas, the Wizards, the Grizzlies, the Jazz, the Nets, the Trailblazers, the Hawks, the Pistons, the Rattlers of Austin, uh, the Cavaliers, the Timberwolves, the Bucks, the Kodiaks, the Vancouver Kodiaks, the Thunder, and the Raptors. And I'll show you the alignment of it all. I'm going to simulate this draft here right now. We're going to simulate all of it, and I'll show you what all of them are. So let's hit the sim. Are we sure we want to simulate? Yes, we do. And here we go. As we can see, the round's going. You see some of the names attached to some of the people there. It's all going quick and fast. We are uh, in round seven. Round eight coming up. Round nine. Like, I'm, this is going to be just computer-based, and we'll see how we go. We'll make moves as we go along with the season. Uh, but we'll also see how things go. Okay. So I'm ready to see it. Let's see what we have. Exit the draft. Yes. So we'll see what we get in these drafts and what happens. All star teams, the other rules have happened in the modern era. Okay. We're gonna load and draft. We're gonna get a load. We're gonna load a draft grass. So we're that now we're, we're gonna need a, an actual. Let's get the first one because the first one usually are the best for me. Okay. So let's look at our Breezy Nine Round Rankings. And the Lakers got the number one seed here. The Warriors will be the host team on the list is here. The Metrics Online. Uh, will be the best team. The power ranking. Going through the power rankings. Let's go. Let's look at the power rankings before we look at the rosters. The Golden State Warriors got the number one spot. So people thinking uh, the 2K is thinking the Warriors have the best. We're going to go by 2K sports. Uh, Lakers, San Antonio, the Clippers, the Nets, the Bucks. Uh, these are the teams right here that are top 10. And we'll see what their rosters look like. Who are the worst teams in the league? Let's see. The newer teams, the Kodaks. The Rattlers, the Outlaws, the Blizzards, the Sharks, the Thunder. These newer teams, Seattle's up there in uh, the top 20s, but we'll see what we have here. Okay, let's see. Time to look for the front office. Time to see these rosters. Devin Booker on the Philadelphia 76ers with Clint Capella, D'Angelo Russell, and Kevin Love. And Russell Westbrook probably coming off the bench. I mean, this team does look solid. This looks like it could be a playoff contender. Uh, championship team, who knows? We'll see what happens there. The uh, Anchorage, the Anchorage Blizzards. They've got themselves a mellow ball. Christoph Porzingis. And after that, it's, it's, I'm not sure how long, I don't, I'm not sure how good this team will be, but I mean, you got a mellow, so that could push you somewhere far. They'll be in the Western Conference, by the way. The Blizzards will be in the Western Conference. The Bucks of Milwaukee have Bam. Adebayo as their main guy. And then after that, Jaron Jackson, Kyle Lowry, Karis uh, Levert. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't look terrible. So we'll see where the Bucks go. And right here, the Bulls. The Bulls got themselves some Steph Curry, Julius Randle, and Tobias Harris. I think this is my favorite right now to take it now. I mean, look at that. Tobias Harris, Julius Randle together with Steph Curry. Uh, Spencer Dew Dinwiddle, Dinwiddie is there, Brooke Lopez, DeMarcus Cousin, Andre Godala. I mean, this team has a bench. This could be a very dangerous team. The Bulls could be back to being the favorites. Right now, they're currently my favorites in this one. The Cavaliers, um, they got a young guy in Gilgis Alexander. Not bad. I mean, Steven Adams right there to bring in some. And Sexton, there's Sexton back to the, to the Cavs there. Uh, Jose Alvarado. I, okay, it's not bad. It's not a bad team. I mean, this could be a good, solid playoff team as well. 
Um, now here come the Celtics with Jokic and the the star of this team with CJ McCollum. Okay, uh, OG Anunoby. Okay, and Jordan Clarkson. I think this could be a solid playoff team. Could give go a challenge. I'm not sure if they'll make it all the way to the finals, but it could it could happen. The Clippers now being led by Jason Tatum at 24 years old. This this could be their team. This could be a, a long time build for them. You got Jalen Brunson on the back right there. Ken uh, Keldon Johnson, Bogon. Uh, they might be playing in the playoff, the play-in tournament, but who knows? Who knows what the rest of the competition looks like? You know? Okay. Zion Williamson. Here we go with uh, Chris Middleton together and uh, Joseph Nurek. This could be solid. Gary Trent Jr. This could be a good team. It has potential not to be championship, but I don't think any team is fully out there as a championship. The Hawks. I don't like their chances. No, no. no. Drew Holiday is good, solid, but this this is your team here. I don't I don't know if this is going to be a good team. This is going to have to be team different heroes every single night. And now the Heat with Luka Doncic, and then it falls down to Terry Rozier, and and it's gonna be tough for this team. But with Luka, anything is possible. I mean, you could make the playoffs. Who knows? Anything's possible. John Morant on the Hornets, alongside uh, Clay Thompson, right to back him up. That is gonna be an interesting team to watch. You got Michael Porter Jr. and uh, Laurie Mark in there with Zubox as your center. You have uh, Dennis Schroeder coming off the bench. You have Kaminsky. This could be a fun team right here. The Hornets could be a, a sleeper. The Jazz, <laughs> somehow Donovan Mitchell ends up on the Jazz again. It's like they didn't want to let him go. So Donovan Mitchell back to the Jazz here. Uh, but he'll be this time partnered up with Pascal Siakam, uh, Jeremy Grant, John Wall, and Jeff Green. And uh, the bench could be there. So this is just, that's, that's great. Lance Stevenson on the Jazz too. Uh, the Kings with Joel Embiid. And after that, Mar Marvin Bagley back to the Kings. Montrose Harrell. This could be a hard team to beat, but I'm not sure if they'll win a lot of games. New York Knicks getting themselves some James Harden and Christian Wood and Josh Hart and Bogdan, uh, Bogdanovich. Uh, Patrick Beverly there. Derek White. Carmelo back to New York. Okay, interesting. Maybe he retires as a Nick here. Uh, Dwight Powell, Austin Reeves, and Chris Dunn. Uh, this could be interesting to see where this team goes. I mean, they might have a chance, but might, they'll be fun to watch. Uh, the Vancouver Kodiaks. I got themselves Brandon Ingram. Good start right there. Scotty Barnes. Okay. And after that, it's kind of... Um, um, I don't think they're going to be a championship contender, but maybe they'll fight for like, long those playing spots. The Lakers. Oh, God. This is going to be interesting. Kevin Durant is with the Lakers in this game. Okay. Okay, this is backup. Uh, it's De'Aaron Fox. Okay, not bad at all. Miles Turner right there to bring it up. So that's not bad. Big three. And Aaron Gordon to be there with. Uh, okay, this is not bad at all. Kyle Anderson. Caldwell Pope back with the Lakers again. That's always something cool. Dwight Howard somehow ends up in the Lakers. Uh, Reggie Bullock. I guess Robin Lopez wants to be a Laker as well. Uh, Gordon Dragic. Gary Harris. This could. Joe Johnson on the Lakers here. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how it'll go, but we will see what happens here. Uh, Jimmy Butler and on the Magic. He'll stay in Florida, but with this time with the Magic. And uh, Nikolo, uh, Nikolo, Nikola Vujic is going to be Magic again with Fred Van Fleet and Blake Griffin and uh, Nicholas Klexton. This could be interesting. Could be a fun team as well. Chris Paul with the Mavericks this time. Says, I'm going to lead the Mavericks with Miles Bridge on the back. And, and after that, it's, it's not. Victor Oladipo is there. Ah, it's going to be tough for the Mavericks, but we'll see. The Nets have Paul George. Okay, Paul George and Robert Williams and Kyle Kuzma. And then Buddy Heal, JaVale McGee. It's going to be tough for them, but I think they, they, they could come out. Kyrie Irving will be with the Denver Nuggets alongside Draymond Green. Now, yeah, that's definitely two guys who love the headlines. Um, they'll be together with Mike Conley back there. Maybe he can keep them together. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But this is an interesting uh, kind of pairing here. Okay. The Vegas Outlaws, the new team for Vegas, got themselves Anthony Edwards. Okay, a good young star to build for them. John Collins, okay. Chet Holgreen, you know, Marquez or Markel Fultz right there. Then, you know, not bad, but I don't know if they will go far. Anthony Davis with the Pacers, with Mikael Bridges, Marcus Smart, Ricky Rubio, Malik Monk. This could be fun to watch as well. The East looking a little better now. Trey Young on the Pelicans, and he'll have uh, Anthony Wiggins. I'm sorry, Andrew Wiggins behind him over there. With uh, so that's it's you know it's an interesting team. 
These are all interesting. I have not seen one team besides the Bulls that I'm like, oh my god. Maybe the Knicks might give them one. The Lakers are a little interesting, but not really that much interesting. The Pistons, the best player is Jared Allen. That's going to be tough, and especially in this league. But we'll see how this league forms, how they go. Okay. Now, the, uh, the Raptors with Rudy Gobert, they did, they, Gobert, they did have the last pick. So, I mean, it's not bad. A good defensive present. And then you got DeJounte Murray, P.J. Washington, Seth Curry. Uh, so you, have a, you have a chance. You have three-point shooters and Joe Harris as well. So, you got something there. And now the Austin Rattlers, uh, Bradley Beal, Kate Cunningham. Okay. I mean, this might be a tough year for them, but, you know, Bradley Beal's in squad, so that's your offense. DeMar DeRozan, Jordan Poole for the Houston Rockets, uh, Powell, uh, this could be, and then you have uh, James Wiseman, okay. And now here with the Sharks, you have uh, Darius Garland with the San Diego Sharks alongside Wendell Carter, Dylan Brooks, Alex Caruso, Caruso with the, with the Sharks. This should be interesting. I might like to watch this one a little bit more, but we'll see. And then here is the San Antonio Spurs. They pulled themselves LeBron James. <laughs> they pulled LeBron James and said, we're going to get him. And we're going to just switch his number because I don't like 16. 16 is going to look awkward. So we're going to go to, uh, I believe it has to be his vitals, right? Vitals. Uh, can we switch the number? 23 is not available. Yep. Okay, we're gonna go there. Complete key changes to return. Okay, he'll be with Lonzo, Lonzo Ball, and LeBron together, with uh, Malcolm Brogdon, and then, I mean, this is gonna be tough for him. But he's got some, he's got shooters. He's got Kennard out there. He's got Kennard, a three-point shooter. He's got a uh, Bruce Brown as well as another shooter. You got a team here that could carry. And now the Phoenix Suns here with Damian Litter. Damian Lillard is a son. That's not bad. With DeAndre Aiden remaining with the Suns and Harrison Barn joining the fold. Um, but after that, it, it, it's going to be a good a good time for them. We'll see how it happens. The Seattle Supersonics with the robot himself, the man, the machine, Kawhi Leonard. And he'll be backed up by Ben Simmons. That's going to be an interesting pair. And then you have Jonas Valanciunas as your center. Okay. You know, you, you got something here, too. The Thunder, RJ Barrett leading the charge. I'm not sure if he's ready for that task, but it's gonna he's gonna have to step into it here with this team with Derek Rose there as well. And the Thunder, Andre Drummond, Reggie Jackson. This might not be a team that makes it far. They might be traders, and they might be trading pick, trading picks and uh trading players for picks. Now the Timberwolves getting Zach Levine back. Yeah, they say, yeah, come back. And this time we're gonna give you uh Demontis a bonus. So not a bad pair. These two here could be a big factor for them. You have Monte Morris, you have Cole Anthony as well. P.J. Tucker, this could be a, a good team for the Western Conference, but they're not in the Western Conference anymore because they went to the East. They went to the East. We, sent, we switched them over to the East. Uh, Jalen Brown with the Trail Blazers, and then Tyler Hero. You got Johnson. You got Mohamed Bamba. Got Anari, Payne. I mean, this could be a tough team. You know, the Warriors to close it out. They got themselves Giannis. They were like, you know what? Let's, let's take Giannis. Forget Seth. We're going to get Giannis. He's still seven years younger, so we can get seven more years out of him. Jamal Murray and, and Hannah <laughs> Kupo. Oh, that's going to be crazy. And then uh, Kimbo coming there. You got Ner Nerdless Noel, Derek Favors. It's going to be fun. It's got a chance for a good time, but also a chance for a bad time. And the Wizards to clap, cap it all off. Carl Anthony Towns. And then it goes to Desmond Bain. Mitchell Robertson. This could... I Same exact thing. Could be bad. It could be good. We will see what ha that happens there. But there we go. We have all of our teams that we have there. Um, do we have... Can we see free agents? Let's see who remained in all this. Okay. Not really much of the big names. These are all guys that have signed to the G League. So... Okay. Just a whole bunch of names that have gone to the big league. We, uh, sorry, the G League. We do have George Hill out there. Danny Green. Uh, Bogon. Brent Forbes. I mean, you have guys that could be picked up later on in the season if there's injuries, things like that. You have uh, Daniel House up there, just oh yeah, you have Patty Mills up there. Again, guys who can be picked up if something happens in the season. So we'll see what happens there. And now I'll show you guys the um, the uh, the actual uh, the actual standings and uh, how everything's going to be here. Now, the divisions here, the Atlantic Conference will be the 76ers, Celtics, Raptors, Knicks, Nets, and Wizards. That would be the Atlantic. Um, so, after that, we're going to go to the Central. 
uh, the Bucks, the Bulls, the Cavs, the Pacers, the Pistons, normal, and then we add the t uh, the Timberwolves to that as well. The next one is the Southeast. We added the Pelicans here, so the Pelicans have also come over here with the Hornets and the Magic, the Heat, the Hawks, and the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies also jumping over. So three teams from the West jumping over to the Eastern Conference. Now the Western Conference getting most of the expansion teams, if not all of them. The Dallas Mavericks staying there. The Thunder jumping down from uh, the Northwest all the way down to the Southwest because it's made more sense. The, S the Austin Rattlers, the new expansion team, joining them here. Houston, San Antonio, and then Phoenix said we're going to join the Southwest as well. Now the Northwest here, we have the Anchorage Blizzards being on the furthest team away. The Utah Jazz, the Vancouver Kodiaks, a brand, uh, one of our new teams as well. And the Seattle Supersonics. Three of these teams are expansion teams, so it could be a big chance for Utah, Denver, and Portland to take advantage. Seattle and Portland right there. And then the Pacific, uh, they put the San Diego Sharks and Vegas Outlaws in there with the Lakers, the Kings, the Clippers, and the Warriors. So that's it. That's that's where we'll start in the first game. You'll see it. We'll get, show you the first day. We'll do all the games that we can on the first day. We'll see how many games are scheduled for the first day, and then we'll go from there. So let me see. There are on our daily view. There are five games, so our first video will have uh, footage from all five games, and we'll go from there, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, I don't know. Who knows?